Hello traders, FS Pepcolata here. Today is Thursday, November 2nd. I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working our way down to the one hour for a full top down analysis. So on the dollar yen, I mean, it definitely looks like a one, two, three, it looks like a four, and it looks like a five. I've been saying for quite a while, I mean, the 50% possibly could be an area where this does end the wave five, and if it does, it would go down and take out the lower wave four. But I still have a feeling that this is going to go up to the 61 1.8 around the 157 5 area just like I've been explaining for a long time now so taking it down to the weekly I'll show you why because I believe this is the end of a wave four I believe this is a one two three if it is a one two three then maybe we will get a pullback but it seems to me like it's more likely to go up to this 61 percent because this is way too small to be a complete wave three a wave three should be at least as big as a wave one if not actually quite a bit bigger so let's take it right down to that daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, we do have a Fibonacci bounce. We do not have any break of structure telling me that there's literally no proof at all that this is going down. We are still in a wave three, and really it still very easily could continue to make higher highs, higher lows. If it goes down and breaks structure, then maybe I would turn into a seller at that point. But we don't know that that's going to happen, and it very easily could make another higher low and just continue to trend up, especially if this really is a wave three like I was explaining on the weekly time frame fame taking it down to that four hour time frame definitely an impulsive move down so i mean it is for sure what i would call either a wave a or a wave one meaning that the next move probably would be up but it would probably be a b or a two at the end of that b or two i would go short because if it turns into a three it will go down it will break strata and it will be a very very profitable trade but what is more likely to happen is it will go down to a fib level and make an impulsive and golfing move up ending a wave c and continuing the uptrend so if you go short at the end of the wave B, just prepared, be prepared to exit if it does give you that proof that it is a wave C. And if it turns into a wave 3, is this going to be a more profitable trade? So that's definitely not going to affect us at all. Going down to the one hour time frame, if it goes up and breaks structure, then I would say that's the end of a wave A or 1. Then I would be trying to go sword at the end of the next three way pullback for either a B or a 2. Like I said, I am definitely looking for three ways up and pulse it down to go sort, but if it turns into a wave C, I will be prepared to exit my sort and go long for the continuation of the uptrend. If it goes down and breaks structure, then I'll just hold on to my sort because it may potentially turn into a much bigger move to the downside. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.